Hello my dear friends, this is a painting cat. My name is Catherine. Today I'm going to paint with acrylic on a canvas and we will create winter wreath with the birds. This is a fast version of tutorial. Here we will talk uh, about just the main steps. You can find real-time version of this tutorial with explanation of each step, what colors we're using, mixes we need, and also a sketch um, possible to find on my Patreon. Full tutorial available for any level of subscribers and also for two levels. Anemones and Roses, you can find tutorial about how to draw sketch. For tulips, you can find sketch ready to print and uh, you need to print it for the next step. Now you can see we're starting with a background and as a background we're creating wooden texture. I'm using dry brush technique. As a basic layer I put there white and a bit of yellow and brown. And with half dry brush, this is a natural bristle brush, I'm creating lines and spots that really looking as a wood. Very important to use almost dry paint. I put list of paper and you can see if I'm trying to paint on a paper with this kind of brush and with this consistency of acrylic I almost can't paint anything I'm just scratching with a small strokes almost not visible strokes that's how we creating wooden texture now I have a normal brush it's a watercolor brush and consistency now different you can see on my palette and we creating smaller details that's how we usually going from the basic shapes from the big details and after we moving to the smaller details i already demonstrated to you how to create wood with half dry brush uh, when we painted together a uh, composition with the candles, Christmas candles, you can find this tutorial uh, on my channel. And here it's same technique, same wood texture, but it's looking different because with the candles we used black color as a basic and we created wood with the lighter colors on top. Here we're going opposite way, it's a really light background and darker details on top. Wood planks here looking as old ones and this is a door, door with a frame around it. I really like this way of creation uh, because it's not, you know, it's just a background but it's not looking boring, it's not looking flat and single colored, isn't it? Remember, it's not the most important part of a composition. It's just a background, so not over detail background part. Just enough, but remember, for any composition, it's possible to create wood this way really easy if you're planning you know something simple just an apple on a table you can paint an apple just on a flat plastic table but you can paint the same apple on a wooden table with a wooden background and painting in the end will look really more interesting because background will look not boring you can see now I transferred sketch lines. Uh, on my channel you can find very short tutorial how to do it. Also I demonstrated this way many times. So now I transferred 
sketch lines it's visible for me really well and we're starting to paint winter wreath we have to reserve areas for future birds because here we have two of them but um i'd say red color not simple because first it's a half transparent most of the time you can see lines of wooden plank behind isn't it that's usual thing usual um view of red uh about another bird it's also cardinal and here by the way very interesting here when i'm aware i'm living at the moment mm, english not my native so on my native language mm, if we're talking about birds we can say she and he depends on the gender of a bird about english i know from my lessons uh, all pets all animals and birds it's always it so i just don't know how to name my birds here can i use she or he or i need to call them a uh, lady bird and a gentleman bird mm, actually i have no idea please let me know on the comments uh, what you think how i need to name these two birds so we um put basic color for two of them it's a red for boy and sand color for the girl and next we have to create shape of future wreath you can see color of twigs and branches really dark here we can use even black for the most contrast and next step we need to create shadows i blended shadows a little bit and we already straight after we created shadows we already see a volume right so it's a very important detail and also we need to put shadows between different twigs and branches inside when we will put those shadows between dark lines it's possible also correct some lines probably you don't like uh, how it's looking because in mix for shadow i used also white so this shade have nice coverage as soon as this tab done we can create tiny tweaks around and if for main shape it was really important to create big branches inside of the circle shape so for volume now and for interesting look it's also very important to go out of the basic shape with a smaller twigs and lines also about tool here i really recommend to you to pick up line brush it's also can be can be found as um, one stroke brush you need the smallest number uh, my number one i couldn't find smaller brush number zero the same uh, shape if I will see this kind of brush number 0 or 00, I will uh, get it also. I really like it. Look, lines, very long. It's accurate. It's so thin. Important moment when we're working with a long bristle, synthetic brush, and we need long lines with acrylic on a canvas, we have to put extra water. Shorter brushes can paint with just acrylic from the tube, but long bristle need more watery consistency of acrylic. So remember this moment. And here, of course, we need to have some patience because it's so many tiny twigs around. Uh, they're going inside of a circle and outside of a circle, some of them also crossing edges of a canvas. I like this idea. 
it's connecting you know background and foreground together because here we have no um middle ground just a door behind of a uh, winter wreath and as soon as you you know you think enough those tiny lines those tweaks uh let's put some snow this is my favorite part to be honest <laughs> uh it's clear white and uh, i choose brush number one it's a uh, watercolor brush shape so it's half a pointy end a uh, brush can handle not that big amount of acrylic but it's enough it's enough and i like how it's looking now uh remember snow it's always on top on top of the branches and we have the most um, snow on the uh, horizon parts of a wreath vertical vertical segments of round shaped wreath will have less snow yeah here on top let's put a really good amount of snow it's going everywhere especially especially on the big branches for small tweaks we also can add snow but let's use a smaller brush brush strokes looking just more gentle i really like it much much more with a smaller brush This wreath can be created without birds. For example, you can add here poinsettia flower on a place where I have now red bird. Or it can be some Christmas ornaments or maybe a ribbon. So this way you can change this wreath on your own taste. This wreath also can have more spring look if you will add also a little bit of fresh and little spring green leaves. Yes, a little bit of snow also can be still here, but imagine some fresh new green leaves, tiny ones, will look also interesting. Now I like how my wreath looking. Let me add a little bit more lines. And don't forget about berries. Berries here, it's not just a tiny detail snow, it's very important for composition. Now red bird taking too much attention because of the color. For more balanced look, we have to add a little bit of red points here and there. Now our wreath ready and we can work better, pay more attention for our birds. I will start with a boy, red colored feathers, and we have to create shadow and light on him. The most dark area will be on the bottom of body under the wing about transparency of red color yes we have to cover those lines that still visible from the previous layers and only one way possible to do i will add more white here we're risking a little bit because we want to create not just a pink bird, isn't it? We want to create a red one. Don't worry, after this layer with white will dry, we will put more red on top, we will cover, we will glaze whiter details, pink details with just a clear red. This way possible to create really uh, red looking feathers. But again, we have to remember about light and on the back 
of a boy, we will add a little bit of lighter pink, let's say pink feathers brush strokes. About girl here, she have different color of feathers. It's more sand and also on this tutorial I want to demonstrate to you two ways of feathers painting. For the boy, we will use just a normal brushes, kind of big, number one, number three. But for the girl, in the end, I will use dry brush technique, so we have to create color on her body, more dark as it needed, for contrast, for dry brushing. But still, we need to detail light and a shadows on her body. Same darkest area on body will be there where body connected to the tail. About red colors on her. Red color we can see on a nose, on a big feathers on a wings, on a tail and on a pointy feathers on head here. Also, cardinals have black feathers, black area around nose and around an eyes. Don't forget about legs. Girl and a boy also have different legs color. Girls have more sand colored legs and the boys have red ones. As I told you, look, now I'm glazing with a red color and bird now, boy, looking more red. We're using pink mix red of white only for detailing. Now you can see the tiniest feathers that I can create here. I painted it with a line brush. This kind of feathers can see on a boy. But still, feathers not looking fluffy, right? I will add an eye also, just a tiny white dot and a little bit more spots of lights on the feathers. Also, don't forget to add shadow and light for each berry. This is not so hard to do. Shadows under it and a tiny spotlight on each berry. Put snow on each berry also looking tasty. We almost done and I told you let's try on a go another way of detailing for feathers. This is a dry brush technique. That's how my painting looking right now. And this is a very light shade. It's a white plus yellow and a bit of brown. Half dry acrylic, very important. And I'm touching bird slightly, very gentle. And look how fluffy her chest looking. Ah, uh, well, on this moment my painting is done. I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. Welcome on a real-time version of it. If you have any question, don't be shy to ask me here on the comments. You can share your painting to me uh, through the Patreon, Facebook or Instagram. Don't forget to put hashtag PaintyCat. Subscribe my YouTube channel, we will have more interesting paintings. It was a painting cat. I wish you all the best. Bye bye.